Good evening, coming to you from around the campfire. It's Epic Tales featuring Epic Tales, a campfire discussion about all things bookish. Joining me today is my buddy Epic Tales. Let's talk about all things bookish. We haven't even planned this. We don't even know how this is going to go. But hey, Epic's here and things could get crazy when Epic's here. Joining my family here on our camping trip this year. Thank you so much for having me here. I'm just very grateful to, you know, meet the family. It's been, I think, two years since the last time I saw them. Probably, yeah, something like that. And uh, yeah, I miss them. And, you know, when Drew <coughs> offered to, you know, host me at this camp uh, setting and everything, I had to say yes, because it's just the time to relax, you know, talk about stories and, you know, meet his family who have been so wonderful to me. And I'm so grateful to be here to be honest and I'm excited about what this uh, video is going to be. Yeah, before I want to finish the Malazan book before the end of the year. So. Speaking of Malazan, how do you feel about books like that? And, um, I get, and what I mean books like that is this is a pretty big scope story. It's a pretty vast world. It's pretty complex it's mm -hmm. extremely difficult to follow um often people say it's like you know we're not uh the author's not holding your hand right um i'm not sure how i feel about that i don't want my hand to be held but at the same time i want a story that isn't extremely difficult to follow if it's hard to follow if it's too complex it can be difficult to hold your attention this is why it took me so long to get through malazan so <clears throat> with a book like malazan um i've 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 always um given like uh malazan some its respect because when i read the book i see exactly what people say about it like it's not a book where you know some books people will, will just will hype up and say this book is so good the character development is good but when you read it it's basic you know what i mean like malazan is a book that you know you can appreciate for all its complexities and it does something very specific it um it 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 so there are books where like it's laid out for you and you you can see the story and everything is easy to understand there are books where they've struck a balance where you know the you you understand the, the 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 writer helps you understand as much as he can and then lets you fill in the blanks in some other places malazan is a book where the writer doesn't help you at all <laughs> he just tells you the name of the characters and the characters are acting in a world and you don't necessarily know why they are doing what they are doing but after you've read it for a while maybe you will get it maybe you won't but in general um, you know you're reading you're you're creating the story for yourself so the brilliance of malazan is that everybody that reads it gets something very personal and unique like what you i would get from reading a book like malazan would be different from what you get from reading from malazan yet when we describe the experience of reading the story we'll describe it in the same way I feel like that is brilliant. Everybody that reads Malazan has it has their own special interpretation of it. So I can I can I can appreciate it for what it does, what it's doing. And you know, I've watched some interviews with Ericsson and it seems that that was intentional. So that I give it give him all the praise for. However, I understand what you mean. Like it's not it's not if you come with the conventional idea of what you you've always understand and loved to be a story malazan is is not it's not that <laughs> no not malazan, by a long malazan is not that malazan is <clears throat> i feel like it, and it's a successful experiment the numbers can prove it and all of that but it feels very experimental where it does the the show don't tell um idea of like writing to the extreme yeah so 
you 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 have to do a lot of the heavy lifting. I remember that when I was reading Malazan for the first time, I reread chapters over and over again because I was not satisfied with just keep on reading even though you don't understand like i've never I, like i don't understand that like i don't like you know why am i why am i reading why why am i keeping why am i why am i going on if i don't yeah. understand where i'm coming from you, you like you know so i read, we read chapters and chapters until i gave up and i just kept going even though i still didn't understand but you know i feel I, a lot of people tell me when i go further into the story i appreciate that but I haven't gotten there yet, so I don't want to talk too much about it. But no, fair enough. In, in general, like, yeah, well, like what I want to do is I want to try. I eventually want to try to reread a Malazan because I feel like it's one of those books where, and that's the thing. Like, I love the world of Malazan. Like, I really think it's just some phenomenal world building. Like, it's a really great world. They're thick. They're complex. I don't. I don't mind complex stories. I love complex stories. I also want to be able to, you know, at least have a basic understanding of what's going on in that complex story. And at times with Malazan, that was very difficult to understand. Um, so what I want to eventually do is maybe do a reread with Audible and kind of do that Audible reread while reading along with the book. Hmm. And maybe have hmm. a narrator immersive in there reading. Hmm. doing the immersive reading. Because I've heard from some people that sometimes it can take a reread a second read through to really start to put it all together and understand mm. it to a greater extent mm. and that's when it really starts to become even mm. more interesting i'm going to try that eventually i'm not sure when i'm going to get to that but i'm going to try it because usually i just use audible for rereads in the immersive reading for the stories that i absolutely love um, i don't usually do that for new books some exceptions apply such as stormlight yeah i'm going to get the audible book as soon as the next book is released in December. I have it on pre-order. <laughs> not missing that, man. No, but like, you know, I, I like how you talk about Br Brandon Sanderson because the br brilliance of Brandon Sanderson. And yeah, I know, forgive me, I still haven't read the book of his. Although he got me like this special edition. I don't know why, but I've been saving it for a special occasion, a special period. But forgive me on all of that. But you I'll know, forgive you this time, man. But next time <laughs> we make a video, you better have read it. <laughs> So, you, you know, like, Brandon Sanderson is a Mormon and he, he infuses some of his ideas into everything. But I feel like it's so crazy that his biggest fan, and uh, trust me when I say there isn't a, biggest, uh, there isn't a bigger Brandon Sanderson fan than this guy, <laughs> but he's an atheist, you know. So, for someone to be able to, you know, experience and digest um, Brandon Sanderson's ideas on religion and everything, is is that just shows how much of a brilliant writer he is you know and this is what makes me um you know to clarify, very interested the, the in religious stuff in authors. Is mostly just in the stormlight archive the stormlight ar archive i haven't but really seen much favorite. of that but that is my favorite yeah. yeah i haven't really seen like the um the god versus no god debate um and any of his other cosmere works uh, so just to clarify, it's just the stormlight is not in yeah, all of his yeah, works. Yeah, yeah, but but like it's like um, anyway. When you do read the God versus No God debate, I'd like to hear your thoughts on that. I want to know how he represented that, because honestly, it's like um, with Brother Sanderson. I've always had this fear that I'll read him and I won't like him. <laughs> I've always had a fear that I'll read him and I won't like him because. So many people Look, I know. We can still be friends so if that much. happens. I know we can still be friends, <laughs> but like, I, I'm just like the hype around him has been so much for so long, consistently that I've had to concede on some level. He has to be good, right? I, I feel because the hype is worth it, but I know that there are those there that feel he is an overhyped author. Hmm. But personally, I feel the hype is worth it. Name one other author that has created something like the Cosmere. You can't. So, so, but then it's like what I hear about him is that his um, his prose is kind of very basic. It admittedly it is. It is. It's not a complex prose, but he still has that incredible world building. He still has those characters you come to absolutely love. You saw my Kaladin character profile video. Mm. Um, that probably video, by one the way, of my that personal video, favorites. By the way, that video inspired me so much to do what I do now with my character analysis right now. So straight up, I'm just like going to shout you out right there. 
because at the time and i'll just keep this really quick everybody on booktube were doing their wrap-ups and their you know book hauls and all of that stuff that i'm not interested in on their tbrs and um you know like you came out with that and then i saw that and i was just like oh that's content i would love to create so you know like years years later this inspired me doing my judge holding video and it inspired me doing my uh polar trades videos is as a well video so it inspired me to well drawing a blank judge holding was from blood meridian yes blood meridian that i saw that video and i downloaded blood meridian onto my kindle no 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 so pretty much almost right after I saw that blood video. meridian and i know i know i know i know when i tell people oh it's so dark it's so dark everyone's like yes them i know it's dark i can read dark books i like dark books but blood meridian is darkness without reason like it's without really without reason the brilliance of J blood meridian is george holden god damn it what a character my god like such a humbling character because he is a vicious evil man but when he starts talking you cannot disagree like if you're being logical if you have a logical sense in your yeah. mind you cannot disagree imagine Honestly, someone doing know imagine someone evil? doing the most despicable yeah. acts but when he starts talking you agree with everything he says <laughs> it's so like you can't argue with it guy, I, I got this judge holding guy <laughs> is he one of those evil characters that inherently believes they're doing what's right because those in my view so are for, the most terrifying for, for him he doesn't guys. for him he doesn't see it as right or wrong he sees it he's the kind of person that sees it as this was always going to happen so don't even like don't look at me twice like and it's like he doesn't his arguments are so like on a purely logical basis his arguments are so clean that even if even if even if you cringe every time he's it's his he's his, it's you're 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 reading his point of view or you're reading something he does you can't take your eyes away you like you can't stop reading you're just like stuck in the pages because every time he says something that you're just like wow but then you, you never get in a place where you confuse his actions you ever think his actions are are justified but yeah. the reasoning behind his actions are logically clean like history Man. will back him up philosophy will back him up religion will back him up colonialism will back him up every realm of human endeavor that has worth in 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 he, he, judge holding is and he's a car he's a character you can't put in a box you know i had people complaining on my comment section that oh okay i didn't say like uh, or ajp ajp was the one that did the, the the narration and the the character analysis for me i just did the visuals for that particular one but uh, people could have complained that um i didn't say anything definite about george holding george holding is a character with so many contradictions right that you do not um you can't put him in a box if you put him in a box then that means you took something one aspect of of something he said way too seriously and you're ignoring the other aspects of him that contradicts oh, that you, you see he's yeah. such a complex character and i feel like he's someone worth enjoying that just but makes blood me want to read it more man. blood meridian is a difficult book to read it's difficult so okay, well stay epic and peace absolutely peace and until next time keep on reading bye